at the beginning of the show said that she sees a shit storm coming. TK, <laughs> let's get into the juicy, exciting stuff. Okay. Why does someone from your perspective feel that way? What do you see coming and why? Okay. I don't want to make any predictions on the market per se, but in just in general, I just, I feel the sentiment of being a young person um, in Toronto. It's getting tougher and tougher. I just feel that just around, you know, my circle and just seeing social media, it's, you know, everything is unaffordable. Um, when it comes to housing, you know, even my clients uh, who are, you know, within that top 1% of our age group, you know, they, they're the only ones that can afford it. And even still, they're having issues affording it. You know, most of the time, the first time home buyers, um, whether people want to believe it or don't want to believe it, most of that down payment is, is a parent's gift or they've been saving for a really, really, really long time. It's just so hard at these prices to come up with that down payment in cash in today's day and age. And me, a millennial who is in the real estate market already, I feel for my generation, the generations to come, because I just don't see how on paper in an Excel spreadsheet at certain income levels, how you can possibly afford owning a home going forward. It's the future has got to be living in small spaces, condos, um, which I think we as a society in Canada and the US maybe are not so prone to. Um, but if you look at other parts of the world, like that's very common, right? To grow up in a duplex, to grow up in a condo. Um, we're just so used to this American Canadian dream of owning that big white picket fence house, two car garage, massive lawn. So I don't know. I just feel like with everything going on with the safety of um, TTC right now, transportation, all the grocery costs, it just, it does feel like when you walk the streets that, you know, um, People are, are struggling and hurting, but then you, you go to a, you go to a financial district on a Wednesday night and it's it's packed. You go to a restaurant on the weekend, it's still packed, and everyone's calling for the recession, obviously. And um, you know, it, it's hard to see if it's actually happening. Are people overspending? Are people, you know, over leveraging themselves, um, putting themselves in more of a hole? Yeah, what the hell are people doing right now? Because so uh, we have a friend, we, we, she came over last night and she was saying that when she goes downtown, she doesn't feel comfortable anymore. And she's like, yeah. feels like she's got to like clutch her, her bag and like, you know, everybody, she called everybody zombies. And I was like, <laughs> whoa, like, I, I mean, I haven't been downtown, you know, walking around for that for a little while, but like it hasn't been. I don't think the zombie apocalypse is on us, but I mean, you're right. There's like this kind of duality going on where like you, you're starting yeah. to feel like there's like not not even pain financially but like unrest all over the place like people are getting kind of nutty all yeah. over the place and like weird stories and lots of violence and lots more crime but meanwhile like go to the theater go to a movie go to the a dinner like go to a gym like go anywhere that it costs money to get into and it yeah. is Ah, like pie. Yeah. Makes ah. no sense, right? <laughs> and it's not cheap. Like these are not cheap things to do. These are all well overpriced, horribly, you know, serviced. Like they're they're not good products. They're just things to do. The food has gotten worse and more expensive. And we're like, we're, are we all just so desperate to go out and do stuff? Yeah. Like, are we bored? Like, what's going on? on and are i mean is it just to get away from all the news right now like i 